Alright. <laughs> Good morning po. Okay. Sabi mo naman sa katabi mo, Good morning. <laughs> so, Good morning po sa inyo lahat. Um, wala po si Bishop Frank. Currently, nasa Butuan City po siya ngayon. At so, today, sabi mo sa katabi mo, si Kuya Josh muna. <laughs> sabi? Alright. Batiin mo naman ang magandang good morning yung kasama mo. Huwag niyo akong tignan. Tignan niyo yung ano, tignan niyo yung katabi niyo kasi... They have prepared a lot to be beside you today. Amen? Kaya pansinin niyo naman siya. Hello, sabi mo. Grabe, di ba? You know, kaya gustong-gusto ko yung mga good morning sa buhay. Because a lot of people, currently sabi nga nila sa aking profession, uh, I am, uh, professionally speaking, I am a nurse by profession eh. Yan ang sabi sa, sa medical field, every second, somebody dies. Every second, may namamatay. That's why for me, from a professional standpoint, good mornings are beautiful. Why? Because if you wake up in the morning, it means you have another shot and opportunity at life. Amen? Kaya yung katabi mo, that's a blessing. Boy yan eh. Amen? Isn't it? So beautiful that God has authorized you for another day in life. Amen? Kaya sabi mo sa katabi mo, huwag ka magpapabebe, tol. Huwag mo sayangin itong araw na to sa problema, sa iyak, sa lungkot, sa nakalipas. Kasi bawat bagong araw is an opportunity. Amen? It's a blessing. It's a God-given gift. It's a God-given blessing. Diba? Pero yun mo yun, ano, sasayangin mo lang yung, yung opportunity na maging walang kwenta? Huwag mo sayangin yun. Amen? Pero yun mo, instead na magliligaya ka, instead na magiging more than conqueror ka sa araw na yun, magiging sad ka, dahil iniwan ka, dahil pinagpalit ka, dahil niloko ka, sayang. Diba? Kaya sabihin mo sa nakalipas mo, you're so yesterday. Amen? Sabihin natin lahat, you're so yesterday. O diba, kasarap sa pakiramdam, diba? Amen? Woo! Sabihin nyo. Isa pa, yung ano, yung malupit. Woo! Tignan nyo, kapag lang jogging ba kayo, tapos pagod na pagod kayo, sasabihin mo lang. Hindi, diba? Ang masarap pag, jog- pag nag-jogging ka, tapos sobrang pagod mo, sasabihin mo lang. You have accomplished something. Amen? It's, so, it's also a way to vent out everything that is unneeded inside of your body. Anong kailangan ng katawan natin? Oxygen. Amen? Kaya nga ka palag, whoo, ka, nilalabas mo yung carbon dioxide. Why? It's unnecessary in your body. Ganun din, minsan dapat yung mga unnecessary things i-purge natin sa ating buhay. Amen? Kaya kapag may problema, sabihin mo lang, Anong sinasabi natin sa aso pag ayaw mo siya? Shoo! Diba? Ganun. O, di ba? Parang ganun lang yan. Kaya sabi mo sa katabi mo, kaya mong issue yung problema ngayon. Di ba? Sabi mo sa problema, Shoo! Shoo! Hey! Shoo! <laughs> Amen? Grabe. Kaya batihin mo. Batihin mo yung katabi mo. Di ba? Hi! Ako'y nagagalak. Nabuhay tayong dalawa. <laughs> Amen. So, punta na tayo. Punta na tayo sa ating... Saka lang. Nasa yung sandata ko. Ayan. Tignan natin. Ito ba yung akin? Oh, thank you po. So, um, ang ating message ngayon, actually, uh, it is also one of my life messages. Uh, Palagi ko po itong tinuturo sa mga youth Dahil uh, as the TFBC Youth di- Director, um, sabi ko nga po kanina, eh, I'm professional speaking, I'm a nurse. So we are trained 
to empathize with our uh, with our patient. And syempre, kasama rin naman sa nursing ang training namin in psychology. Why? Because most problems are psychological. It starts with the brain. Nakita ko yung teacher ko, si Ma'am Lamog, oh, grabe. Shout out po sa lahat ng mga teacher ko sa CLDH. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. Kasi alam na alam, alam, na alam ko kung gaano kalaki ako ang psychological problem nun sa kanila. <laughs> Promise. Pero oh, grabe. Long hair ako nun eh. Sinabunutan ako papunta sa guidance office. Oh, talaga. <laughs> Pinutulungan ako eh. Kaya napapasalamat ako sa buhay ng mga tao na hindi sumuko sa akin. At saka sa lahat ng mga tao na saktan ko, sorry and Merry Christmas. <laughs> di ba? Sis- Dapat hindi Christmas lang ang season of love, di ba? Dapat araw-araw eh. Kaya sabihin mo ka sa kanilang bigyan mo nga ng isang matamis sa I love you yan. Amen? Alam nyo, eto lang, bago tayo magumpisa. Nakakalungkot eh. Minsan kasi kapag nakikilamay ako, doon nasasabi yung I love you, no? Nakakalungkot at nakakainis. Di ba? Kapag nag-eulogize yung mga tao, Pa, I love you! <laughs> ay, ay ba? Mga, para sa mga buhay, huwag nyo i-reserve yung I love you nyo para sa patay. Pambira. Amen? Bri mo, dahil sa pride mo, hindi mo marilis-release yung I love you na yan, na yung pride na yan, mawawala pa kapag namatay pa yung tao. Tol, sabi mo, huwag mo i-reserve sa patay yung I love you. Kasi ang I love you, para sa buhay. Amen? Amen? Sabi mo nga siya sa katabi mo, I love you with the love of the Lord. Amen? Ako, I always say to my son, I love you. When he sleeps, when he wakes up, kikis ko yan, kahit tulog pa yan, nak, I love you. Because I know, even in, in dreams, you can speak to a person, if, even if they're asleep. Nagkakaroon ng good psychological uh, factor yan eh. When they hear it, even if they're sleeping. Sabi nga namin sa medical field, hearing is one of the last sensations that goes out before a person dies. Kaya nga bago mag mag-flatline yan, pwede kang bumulong sa kanya eh. Hindi na, hindi na nagre-respond yan by speech or by sight or by motor movements, but they can hear you. That's why even when people sleep, eulogize to them. Amen? Sabihin mo, anak, I love you. High level ka na bata. Amen? That's why I always say, kahit ang tatay ko, sabi niya ngayon, di kasi ako pinakalaki ng tatay ko na nag-I love you siya. I speak it. I break the norms of society. Hindi, yung tatay, yung lolo ko, hindi nag-I love you sa tatay ko. Yung tatay ko, hindi nag-I love you sa akin. Hindi ibig sabihin na hindi ako pwede mag-I love you sa tatay ko. Amen? To not to do something is not a, it's not an excuse to be that person. Amen? Hindi excuse yun. Ganito kasi ako pinalaki. Ibig sabihin, hindi ka pwede magbago. Eh, habang may buhay, may pagbabago. Amen? Amen? Kaya sabi mo sa sarili mo, kaya ko magbago. Di ba? Sino dito mga old school, gustong-gusto ko yung kanta nito, di ba? Sabi dito sa kanta, Habang may buhay, habang may buhay, hanggat ang dugo ko ay dumadaloy sa'yo lamang. Habang may buhay, bakit? Habang may buhay, may pag-asa. Ang problema sa may ibang tao, buhay pa yung tao, nililibing na nila. Amen? Eh, na yung mag-bio yan, ha, na, as ng, wala na. Na, panaya kang usga, panaya kang duda. Eh, buhay pa yan eh. Amen? Real talk lang, di ba? Kapag ako nagsasalita dito, puro real talk lang. Amen? Ganun tayo eh. High level tayo chong eh. Amen? Palagi ko, palagi, palagi ko sinasabi sa mga, ano, sa mga youth. We don't have time to talk about nonsense. Why? If we talk about nonsense, we become nonsense. 
If you want to be something, talk about something that makes sense. Something of worth. Amen? We are persons of worth. So when I, when I direct the youth, I direct them psychology, psychologically. I cannot inspire them or encourage them. I must purposely design or program them to be something different. Ang tawag namin dyan, high level kami chong. Kaya ako napapansin niyo po yung mga t-shirts sa labas, meron po mga statement shirts na sabi niya, high level ako tol. Amen? Kasan ba yung mga model ko? Mga model, tayo! Alright. Tignan mo. <laughs> Friends, sali ko dito. These are some of my disciples and ako po, pinag-experimentuhan ko yung mga tao eh. Sabi ko nga, nasa medicine ako eh. Nasa medical field ako. And in, and in medical, in the medical field, you must conduct research and development. Amen? Sabi nga nila, RD department. Lahat yan, kahit yung sa pharmacy, di ba may RD department? Research and development. Why? You cannot release to your consumers something that is not proven. It must undergo proper research and proper development so that the consumers might consume it safely. Amen? Tignan yung mga tao Di ba po Pogi, engineer, isang sing boy at businessman, isang student at businessman. Bakit? Ito talaga yung code namin eh. High level to chong. Amen? So, ay, kapakarma. All the single ladies, all the single ladies. <laughs> Ngayon ko pala naisip, single pala lahat ng mga to. <laughs> High level na single na tao. Amen? Ang problema sa mga ibang tao, nasa, nasa kagwapuhan lang ang nakabase yung pagkaging high level eh. High level yung mukha, low level yung buhay. Kaya kahit nakagwapo pa yan, palpak naman ang buhay, palpak din ang magiging buhay mo. Amen? Kaya mga babae at mga lalaki, humay, humanap kayo ng mga lalaki at babae na high level na yung tsura, high level pa ang buhay. Amen? Amen? Okay. Sige, sige, upo mo na kayo. Dito na kayo para pag tinawag ko kayo ulit. Eh. Lalo na si Renz. Eh. Grabe. Please like us on Facebook. <laughs> so, ito po ang ating ano, uh, topic natin is developing a high level life. Alright? Okay, first time kong gagamit nito sa so subukan natin. First, sabi sa Romans 12:2, basahin nga natin lahat in 3, 2, 1, go. Stop. Wow. Those first sentence, that first sentence is powerful. Do not conform to the pattern of this world. Amen. Alam niyo na tutunan ko dito. Sabi niya, do not conform to the pattern of this world. It means, this world operates by pattern. Gets niyo? Tingnan niyo ah, ano ang difference ng original sa class A? Ang original na Nike product, pinagpaplanuan nila kung ano yung produkto na ilalabas sila. Amen? Ang China, ginagaya nila yung plano ng original na gumawa nun. Bibili ka ng original na Nike, ang ganda. Bakit? Plagplanuan eh. Pero yung pattern nun, ginaya lang ng China, magkamukha yan. But, sabi ko palagi, you know the real test of the original and the class A? Time. Time will reveal which is true. Bibili ka ng magkapareho kahit nagayain pa ng China yan, susubukan ng time yan, Ang, ang original, hindi madaling masira through time. Makikita mo, two, three years, four years, mga gamin po pa. Pero yung ginaya, alaya pang mga one month, sira na eh. Pero magkamuka. Why? It's just a pattern of the original. That's why do not conform to the pattern. Why? Because God says you are an original. ba? Original kang ginawa ko eh. Ba't ka nabubuhay bilang pattern? ba? Akala mo, ang kala, ang kala kasi natin sa buhay, ang forma-forma maging pattern. Amen? Akala mo, unique ka. Ang baduy mo, gaya-gaya ka sa mundo. You must be unique. You must be an original. Why? Because God made you as a, uni- or as a original thing. 
You have a distinction in life. Amen? Kaya maraming mga taong hindi masaya. Bakit? Gaya-gaya po tumaya. Tama? You have dreams, but you rather copy the success of others rather than be successful yourself or generate your own success. That's why you're unhappy. Di ba? Kung nasan yung trend, nandun ka. Kung ito yung uso na business, nandun ka. Kung ito yung uso na course, nandun ka. Kung, kung ano yung success ng tito mo, yun yung ginagaya mo. Where is your original dream? Where is your original design? Di ba? It doesn't matter kung, kung yung kapitbahay mo successful as a nurse, it doesn't mean your calling is also a nurse. Di ba? Tapos napoprostrate ka, nag effort naman ako, Lord, nagtatayot naman ako, Lord, nag effort naman ako, bakit wala yung breakthrough ko? Eh, gaya-gaya ka eh. Yung breakthrough ng iba, hindi mo breakthrough yon, kapatid. Amen? This is specifically said by God. Sabi niya, oh, but be transformed by the renewing of the mind. Why? Ano mo yung maganda sa transformed? The word formed. Why? It, when you form things, it's personal. I get you? Uh, punta tayo sa konting sex education. Ganito lang yan eh. When a mother and a father go together, they are forming a baby. When they have sex, it's personal. It's intimate. Amen? When the potter and the clay go to work together, he is forming something out of nothing. It's intimate. Amen? Kaya nga nagiging signature item yan eh. Kaya nga mahal yung mga prada, kaya nga mahal yung mga bagay na handmade. Bakit? It's personal. There is an intimacy between the maker and the product. Tignan nyo, di ba? Ang problema, ang produkto ng Diyos na spoil ng kasalanan. Kaya nga God is transforming you and renewing you. Amen? Sa lahat ng mga may lisensya, kapag pasunan yung lisensya mo, kailangan mo na kumuha ng bago. Bakit? Na luma na eh. It, you must be renewed. Luma na yung utak mo. Luma na yung mga idea mo. Kung gusto mo ng fresh idea, go to God. Why? He will give you a new thing in your life. God is not a God of old things. He's a God of new things. Amen? Paano ka gagamitin ni Lord kung luma pa na dyan sa utak mo? Amen? Ano yung mga lumang bagay sa utak mo? Yung nakalipas mo. How can you properly function to the future that God wants for you when you still carry the spoiled things of the past? Paano mo gagamitin? Ganito na lang yung example. Di ba? Kumain ka ng masarap na sinigang ngayong araw na to. O kaya sisig na to. Di ba? Ginawa, ginamit mo bagong plato, ginamit mo bagong kutsara at tinidor, pero wag mo uugasan yan. Bumili ka ng bagong ulam, tapos gamitin mo yung parehong plato tsaka kutsara para enjoyin yung bagong ulam. Sa tingin mo, may enjoy mo? Na nandun pa yung lasa ng lumang ulam? Hindi, di ba? Hindi, di ba? Ga- kaya na gano'n kasarap yung pagkagisa ng bagong ulam, pero kung nandun pa rin yung lasa ng lumang ulam, hindi mo may enjoy yan. Why? Because the old thing is corrupting the new things in your life. I guess, you If you want to enjoy new things, you have to use New spoon and fork. Amen? Para kapag ganun mo sa sisig, mmm, oh, puwersa na siya. Talaga yan. Lalasa yan, dyan pa! <laughs> Amen? Pero kapag ginamit mo, lumang kutsara, kahit na hiniram mo pa sa barkada mo, ilaway niya nandun, kahit na gano'ng kasarap yung sisig, wala mo aliway yung lasa tol. Na. O siyempre, nandyan yung <laughs> Nandyan na yung kinain na kangkong ng barakada mo. <laughs> Amen? Kaya kung gusto mo ng bagong, buha, ng bagong bagay sa buhay mo, mga kapatid, you have to renew your mind. Amen? So, sabi mo sa katabi mo, nasa introduction pa lang tayo, tol. <laughs> Amen? Sino dito dumating para matuto? Alam mo yung problema ng mga tao, tignan nyo lang, real talk lang to. Lahat, lalo na sa Facebook, ang daming mga tao wala na patunayan pero ang galing-galing nila. Nakakainis. <laughs> Di ba? Ang palagi ko sinasabi sa mga kabataan, tignan mo, umulan lang ng konti, nag expect sila na wala ng pasok. 
Nagtataka sila ba't umuulan sa Pilipinas to? Lang tagal mo na nabubuhay dito. You're living in a tropical country. Don't, don't be shocked if there's rain. Expect it. Umuulan sa Pilipinas to. Wala ka sa Antarctica. Hindi snow ang darating dito. Ang bagyo, hindi sa abnormal na bagay dito sa buhay na to. May bagyo talaga sa Pilipinas. Katabi natin Pacific Ocean eh. Di ba? Guess nyo? Bring nyo ito yung nakakainis sa mga ano. Pupunta ka sa school, hindi para matuto, para, pero para matulog. Di ba? Pupunta ka sa school, ayaw mo ng assignment, ayaw mo ng responsibilidad, ayaw mo pumasok. Tol, hindi ka pinilit mag-aral ng skwelaan na yan. Ikaw yung pumunta sa school na yan at ikaw naging role sa sarili mo. Choice mo kung gusto mo matulog, walang gawin na buong taon, huwag ka maging role. Di ba? Nasa siya ka, ang dami na may problema sa school. Eh di huwag ka mag-aaral. Huwag ka palag-aaral. Ikaw yung nag-submit ng sarili mo sa educational program niya, tapos nagre-reklamo ka sa responsibilidad. Kung ang balak mo sa school, maging walang kwenta, umpisaan mo na huwag ka na maging role. Tsaka ka mag-rant. Mayor Christy Angeles, bakit wala pong pasok? Eh da, estudyante ka. Amen? A lot of people, they want to invest in this life. They invest a lot to become nothing, but they dream to be something. It's redundant. Walang sense. You want to be successful, but you don't make any effort to be one. Your life is full of irresponsibility, but you want blessings? Come on. Real talk lang. Amen? Amen? Ang palagi ko sinasabi sa mga tao, ganito lang kasimplihan mga tol. Sabi ko, paano kung kahit na makumpleta mo, kahit makumpleto mo lahat ng simba sa buong year, but if your mind and your spirit is physically not here, it doesn't matter. Baka masyak ka pag pumunta ka sa langit, hindi ka pala tatanggapin doon. Bakit? Because yung intention mo dito sa church iba. Actually, pumunta ka sa church para mag-grocery. Pagkatapos, Actually, pumunta ka sa church para makipagkita sa crush mo. Actually, pumunta ka sa church para mag-Starbucks mamaya. Not with the intention to learn from God. ba? Diba? Ang palagi ko sinasabi sa mga tao, kung aya-aya sa tao pero hindi ka aya-aya sa Diyos, wala pa rin kwenta yun tol. Amen? It's just plain, simple, common sense. If you don't have a relationship with God here on earth, what relationship will you have with God in heaven? Eh dito pa lang, wala ka ng relationship sa kanya. Simple lang. Real talk lang. It doesn't matter what you do. Eh ginagawa ko to para kay Lord. No. It is what God wants you to do for Him. Not you, you can do for God. Lord, ginagawa ko naman to. Have you asked your king what he wants you to do for him? Tandaan nyo yan, mga kapatid. If you don't have a use to the kingdom of God here on earth, what use do we have to the kingdom of God there? Our usefulness here, our relationship with Him here on earth determines our usefulness and our relationship with Him there in heaven. Amen? Huwag niyong lukohin yung sarili niyo. Huwag natin lukohin. Hindi ako exempted dun. Lahat tayo hindi exempted dun. Amen? We are authorized by God to live here on earth for His purpose. Not for your own purpose. Not for the purpose of this world. Amen? Yun ang pinag-aaralan natin dito, mga kapatid. Trust me, I know this what I'm speaking. Because this message I developed, because I am a Baptist kid, I am a pastor's kid. I saw this church from being nothing to being something. That is, the, what, that is my passion of being here. Hindi ako nagpastor dahil anak ako ni Bishop Frank. Hindi ako nagpastor at nag-youth pastor. Dahil sa tatay ko. Nagpapasoro ko dahil sa Diyos ko. Because I found a relationship with God. I found out that relationship with religious people is not the form of change that will be given. Pero nung basag na basag ako, nakahanap ako ng relasyon sa Diyos ko. At yun ang pabago sa akin, hindi tao. And because of that embrace of His relationship with me, it urged me to serve my changed life to the world so that I can change others. That is my drive. 
Kaya ano yun sa mga nag-uusiga sa akin, I love you with the love of the Lord. Ganun lang kasimple yan, mga tol. Amen? I'm not here to serve man. I'm here to serve God. Amen? Kaya sabi natin dito, to develop myself. To develop myself, I must develop my mind. Because if I develop my mind, I can improve the performance and the function in life. It's so important. Amen? Napaka-importante na ito. The problem with people, tignan nyo ang palagi ko sinasabi sa mga sudyante. Don't go to school to study. Don't go to school to compete. And don't compete with your classmate. The cl- your classmate is not your problem. Your enemy is yourself. Compete against yourself. Minsan kasi ang basihan ng pag-aaral mo kung sino yung top 1, top 2, top 3, tapos mayro kang self-pity, mayro kang low self-confidence, ba't di mo tignan yung sarili mo? Amen? Bili mo, you are spending energy, time, resources, bili mo, effort mo yan para maging walang kwenta ka. Gigising ka na maaga, maliligo ka, gagastos ka ng tubig, sabon, mamamasahe ka, mag effort ka, tapos wala kang gagawin sa school. Pinadala ka ng magulang mo para mag-aral. Ang natutunan mo, mag-boyfriend at mag-girlfriend. Brimon, you are there to study to become something, but you learned how to be nothing. There's something wrong with that mind. Why? Because the mind might be focused on something else. Amen? Hindi mo na sinasabi mo, Kuya Josh. Tol, naintindihan ko yung sinasabi ko. Seven years ako nag-nursing. <laughs> diba? Akala kasi na mga yun, hindi ko naintindihan yung sinasabi ko eh. Lahat ng kalokohan na binabalak nyo pa lang, ginawa ko na. <laughs> Kaya mas naiintindihan ko yung mga kabataan. Diba? Nag-uumpisa pa lang kayo, natapos ko na yan. Amen? <laughs> Nandito ko pa yung isa sa mga kapatid ko, kasakasama ko sa ano. Kuya, Kuya Ryan, shout out sa'yo. <laughs> Buri mo yan. Nag-aaral ako as a nursing, tapos nagtatrabaho kami as a distributor. <laughs> Joke lang. Hindi ko na-elaborate yun. <laughs> Pero God is good, you know. You meet the the weirdest brothers in the strangest places na gagamitin ni Lord para sa buhay mo. Alam mo yan? Kaya nga sabi ko dito, there are three aspects that we must develop and balance. I talked about the mind, right? Tignan nyo ha. I will show you this. First is we must develop, these are things that we improve in our life. First is we develop our mental aspect. We go to school because that is our mental gym. Amen? Diyan, nag-workout yung utak mo in preparation sa laban mo sa kinabukasan. Amen? Nagigets nyo? Ang problema sa mga ano, pinadala, biro mo in ka para mag-gym. Ang ginawa mo, nag-sorbetes ka. Ano mangyari? <laughs> Sayang yung enrollment, di ba? Di ba? Imagine mo, Tito, Tito Arnold, di ba? Kunya yung in mo si Gabo para mag-gym mag workout tapos ang ginawa niya, kumain lang ng Hershey's. <laughs> Sayang yung purpose kasi hindi na-fulfill yung agenda doon sa lugar na yun. Parang ka pa sa pag-aaral, nandiyan ka para mag workout yung utak mo, iba yung na palakas mo sa buhay mo. Amen? You also develop our physical aspect and also our spiritual aspect. These are the three aspects that complete a person. Like it or not. Amen? Tignan nyo, ganito yan. Ha? I will show you something that I learned through my experience in life. Tignan nyo. Minsan, ang mga taong physical, di ba? People who are physical first, their physical does not mean they are mentally strong and also spiritually strong. Ang ibig sabihin dyan, the physical cannot manipulate the mental to become spiritual. Eh, gets nyo? Kaya mayroong mga tao, malalaki ang katawan, may hihina ang utak at may hihina din ang spirito. Bakit? Hindi kasi may influence ng physical yung, yung mental aspect mo at yung spiritual aspect mo. That's true, di ba? Secondly, some, some people are brainy high, but they are weak physically. Right? Why? Because the mental cannot dictate the physical and the spiritual aspect. But you know, Tignan nyo ang kagandaan doon sa spiritual aspect. 
the spiritual aspect can manipulate the mental aspect of a person and the physical aspect of a person. It's the only aspect in our lives that can dictate the other two important aspects of our lives. That gets you. Over and over in the Bible, you find people who are mentally incapable, but because of the Spirit of God, they become capable. You can also see people who are physically incapable, but they are spiritually enabled. That's why it completes them. Napatin yon. So, tignan yon. Dito sa buhay na to. We invest a lot in our mental aspect, and we also invest a lot in our physical aspect. But one of the aspects that we lack investment in is our spiritual aspect. Bakit? Minsan yun hindi natin sineseryos ang pake ng buhay natin. Tama? Pero yun yung aspeto ng kailangan mo. Bakit? Natot natata lahat ng tao taot punta sa impierno eh. Amen? Kaya just to save their souls. They show up at church without the serious intent to seek God, but just to check their attendance so that they can be disqualified to go to hell. Gets nyo? Di ba? Pwede mo talo yung mula sa sarili mo. Ganon ba ako kaseryoso dito? Bata ko nandito. Nandito ba ako para sa ibang tao? O dahil tinulak lang ako? Dahil ininvite ako? O dahil dito talaga ako para na pinan Dios? Di ba? Sabi ko nga kanina, tanda nyo yung kinasirabi ko ng quote. Kung kaaya-aya sa, ta sa tao, pero di kaaya-aya sa Diyos, wala rin kwenta. Amen? So, tignan nyo dito ah. First example is, And Jesus grew in wisdom and in stature in favor with God and man. See? Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, in favor with God and man. He is a complete package of the spiritual the mental, and the physical aspect. Di ba? Eh, malakas kasi yung spirito ng Diyos. Does it mean He's not mentally capable? No. When when Jesus speaks back then, namamangha ang mga tao, namamangha ang mga crowd. Why? Because of His teachings. And He's also physically capable. He's a carpenter. Hindi siya taga-utos sa mga bagay. He can do things. Amen? Kaya huwag natin ipalusot sa atin na hindi. Basta importante, mahal ko ang Diyos. Mga kapatid, paano mo na didiktate yung mga importante-importante sa buhay? Ang Diyos ang didikta lang kung ano yung importante sa buhay mo. Amen? Yung mga sinasabi mo yan, palusot yan. So, see? Sabi dito, tignan nyo ha, kung ano yung mga karetiya ni Lord. But the Lord said to Samuel, do not consider appearance or his height. Sometimes that is the basis of our resume in our lives. Good looks, strong appearances, but you know, The basis of God in this life is, sabi niya, for I have rejected Him. Why? The Lord doesn't look at the things that people look at. People look at. That's why sabi niya, do not conform to the pattern of this world. What you're seeing is what you look at from the pattern that the world has given you. Kaya yung opinion mo tungkol sa buhay na to ay opinion na mundo sa buhay na to. But God said, don't look at this life from the perspective of this world Look at this life from the perspective of heaven. Di ba sabi sa Bible? Set your minds on things above. Why? Because if your mind is set on the things of this world, it can only understand this world from the perspective of the world. But if your mind is set on things above, then you will understand the you will understand this worldly life from The perspective of heaven, amen. You know why? Because the perspective of heaven is better than the perspective of this world. Kaya tayo emotional, kasi yung yung emotions natin is over our mind. That's why our actions are not dictated by our mind, but actually dictated by our emotion. Di ba? Ang dami mga Kristiyano, Kristiyano na emotionally unstable pa. Ang bilis ma-hurt. No, a, a Christian is not emotional. A Christian is a professional of life. Amen? Biro mo Kristiyano ka, emotional ka. You are an emotional wreck. Why? Hindi mo ba makita yun? Bakit kaya? 
Pero mo kung kailangan naging kristyano, doon ka pa naging emotional unsteady? Eh dapat, dapat emotionally strong ka na. Bakit? Kasi dati yung emotions mo nag-rule sa'yo. Ngayon, yung utak mo na nag-rule sa buhay mo. Bakit? Kasi ang namumuno sa utak mo, ang Diyos. Amen? 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 Sabi mo sa katabi mo, huwag mo na matulog, tol. <laughs> Amen? May kama sa bahay. Sabi dito, tignan nyo ha. Sabi 1 Samuel 16 to 12. Look at David's appearance. He's a, he, he was glowing with health and had a fine appearance and handsome features. Why? Because the mind rules the body. That's why whatever is in, di ba? Kasi kung ano nasa loob natin, yun na magraradjate sa labas natin eh. Amen? That's why God looks first at what is inside of you because whatever is inside of you dictates what people can see outside of you. Diba? What is inside that radiates outside? Diba? Anong laman ng buhay ko, yun na nakikita ng mga tao sa akin. Kaya marami mga Kristiyano, tinatawag nila yung sila nila ng Kristiyano, pero yung mga tao hindi na nabalibales sa kanila. Bakit? Baka yung liman, iba yung laman sa loob. Baka sa labas kasi nakalagay 5-5-5-2 na, pero pag bukas mo, pusit pala. <laughs> Marami busit sa loob. Amen? Dapat pag nakikita ka ng mga tao, nabibless pa lang sila. Pag nakikita ko si Mrs. Montero, sabi lang, uy, Diyos ko, high level to chong. Nakaka-bless. Amen? Represent ka dapat eh. Pag nakikita ko si Tito Jojo, nakikita ko milyon eh. Amen? Pero ba't ba yung mga ibang mga kristyano? Ito, lumaki akong ganito eh. Lord, sabi ko, bakit yung mga ibang kristyano tawag nila sa sarili na kristyano pero hindi nakaka-bless? Amen? Malayo pa lang sila para akong sinasaksak sa puso. Bakit? Punong-puno ng ano eh, parang film na film mo. Alam mo yung mga tao, kahit hindi mo sabi sa kanila na pinag-uusapan mo sa likod nila, nadidiscern nila yan. Nadidiscern nila yan. Akala mo, hindi, mo, hindi mararinig yung balita na sinisiraan mo yung tao, pero madidiscern ng tao yan. Bakit? Pwede mo itago, but the truth will always come out. The truth. Tandaan yan. Pero yung mga tao, go, hindi mo na kailangan magsalita, pero mabibless ka. Amen? They stand out. They don't need to testify their life itself. The light inside of their life, it testifies. Amen? Mamapabless ka na lang sa kanila. Pwede pong pabless. Bakit? Grabe po eh. Nakikita ko yung liwanag sa, tin- sa loob mo ang tindi-tindi. Bakit? Nangingibabaw eh. ba? Diba? Yung iba nanginginig lang eh. Dapat nangingi, babaw. Hindi nangingi, nig. <laughs> diba? Amen? Sabihin mo, mangingibabaw ka kapatid. Bakit? High level ka tol. Diba? Diba? Tignan nyo, sabi ko dito, God does not look in our disability, but in our capability to be used as He created us to be. Amen? Tignan nyo, I love to read the Bible. Why? It shows me what I'm capable to do. Hindi ako binabasa yung Bible para ma-bless ako. Binabasa ko para malaman kung sino ako. Amen? Nalalaman ko sino ang Diyos ko, nalalaman ko rin kung sino ako. Amen? Alam mo, gusto-gusto ko kay Jesus. Whenever people, when God encounters people, He does not look at their past. Nawansin nyo? Lord, bulag ako. No, you're not. Bring mo. He's, he sees their future. Lord, may ketong ako. No, wala man. Oo nga, no, wala na. Pakita mo. It doesn't take weeks for them to discover, go back to their original self. It merely takes seconds. Meron ba kayo na basa sa Bible na pinag-pray niya yung bulag ng 30 minutes para maging makakita ulit? Diba? Lord, I want to see. Okay, you can see. Why? He just manifests the future self of that person, not the past self. Hindi mo pwede ipalusot kung sino ka dati. Bakit ang nakikita niya kung sino ka? Napansin mo? Dadalhin sa kanya yung pokpok. Bro, mo, limang lalaki yung pinaggalingan. Tapos titignan niya yung taong to, parang hindi man siya ganun. Bakit? What she sees that person is, is their, what they can be, not for who they were. Napakaganda, mga kapatid. Kaya kung kristyano ka, you're still performing under your past life. 
you must now discover that you must not perform according to your past. You must perform according to the future that God wants for you. Amen? Eh kuya, 85 years old ako. It doesn't matter. God can still use you. Habang may buhay. Amen? Walang excuse. Diba? Kada hinga. I can do something. Because I am something. Because God is something. Amen? Ganun lang kasimple yun. So, it's all about mental conditioning and mindsetting is so important. Amen? Tignan mo kung ano yung mga mental conditioning na ginagawa natin dito sa church. Ano yung dinidictate natin? This is our mental conditioning. Every morning, I suggest you to recite it. Why? You are conditioning your mind to function according to what you declare to yourself. Ang dami ko nakakausap, sasabihin nila, ala na akong pera, sapak ko pang problema. O, o, ipaprophesy mo kayong sarili mo yung mga kanita. Eh, eh, huwag yukoy eh. Kakasabi mo lang. Siyempre, ganun magiging performance ko. Marupok kong tao eh. You just declared it. So you will function this way, that, that, that way. Why not try declaring something else in your life? Ilan sa inyo na araw-araw sinisira nyo yung sarili nyo? Huwag nyo na bilangin yung mga tao na nainira sa inyo. Bilangin mo kung ilang beses mo yung sinisira yung sarili mo sa isang araw. E ikaw mismo, sinusukuha mo yung sarili mo eh. Tama? Ilang mga, ilang beses na, ilang beses ka na, na alam mo sa sarili mo na qualified kayo sa isang opportunity pero dinisqualify mo yung sarili mo. Bakit? Ikaw mismo dinidisqualify mo yung sarili sa mga, sa mga bagay na sinasabi ng Lord na qualified ka. Kaya mo mag soul win. Kuya, hindi ko kaya. Kakasabi mo lang eh. Nakikita ko na kaya mo eh. Ikaw, nakikita mo hindi. Eh di ano mangyayari sa'yo? You will underperform. You will only perform according to how you see yourself perform in this world. Matalino niya kasi. Ako eh. Maklak ko buntok. See? That is not me who said that. It is you who declared that. You view yourself that way, that's why you perform according to how you see yourself. I don't see yourself na ganun. Sasabihin ko sa mga tao, to, lang galing-galing mo. Alay ko ko eh. Bro, mo, ako nakikita ko magaling ka. Ikaw nakikita mo sarili mo, hindi. How many times do you see yourself incapable when people see that you're capable? O ito na lang. Ako nga, nakikita ko, pwede, pwede, uh, nakikita ko yung lakas mo. Eh, paano pa kaya kung ano nakikita ng Diyos sa'yo? Eh, ako yung imperfectong tao na ako, nakikita ko, nakikita ko na yung lakas mo. Paano pa kaya si Lord? ba? When God looks at your life, He sees a gem. When people see you, they see a ruby. And then you, you see, you see yourself as a stone? Kung, kung ano yung value na nakikita mo sa sarili mo, yun lang ang buhay mo. Amen? Kaya nga we declare mental conditioning. I have a destiny. My destiny is what? To be the head, not the tail. Above, not beneath. Blessed, not only blessed. I don't settle for blessed. I am extremely blessed. I have a destiny. My destiny is to make a difference. Diba? In this city, in this city, Tarlac City, in my province, Tarlac, Ganun ang ginagawa natin dito. ba? Kausap ko yung isang kaibigan ko. Sabi niya, Josh, ba't natin ginagawa to? Ba't minsan alam ko nakakapagod ginagawa mo? But what, what is your drive towards the youth? Well, it's simple. I don't want to be ordinary. If God authorized my life to, into existence here in Tarlac City, it's for a purpose. Titignan ko itong mundong ito, ang dami ng ordinaryong tao. What this world lacks is extraordinary people that being used by God. ba? Minsan lang ako mabubuhay sa mundong ito. Minsan lang. Tapos mabubuhay ba ako birang ordinaryo? Come on, guys. That's why we're talking about this. How to develop a high-level life. You have only one shot at life. And then you will spend that life to be an ordinary person doing ordinary things that ordinary people already done. Nagawa na ng tao. Hindi ka, na, hindi ka unique. Amen? What makes us unique, what makes us special is what God uses us to be. Amen? I was, I was reading Miles Monroe at sabi niya, you know, 
the greatest treasure field in life is the cemetery. Munta ka sa cemetery, wag ka pumunta sa gold mine, wag ka pumunta sa diamond mine. The greatest source of treasure is the cemetery. Because buried in the cemetery are people with wasted dreams. People who are supposed to invent something but they chose to be ordinary and they, they deprive the world of that. There are a lot of poetry, unwritten poetry that died in the cemetery. There, there are a lot of musical compositions that has to supposed to be written that are buried in the cemetery. And dami mga produkto na dapat na invento pero hindi na invento na sa cementerio. Why? A lot of people they fail to learn or they fail to discover what they are born to do. Sayang. Amen. And they waste their time breathing religious stuff, doing or ordinary things and routine things in life. Di ba? Kaya nga sabi natin dito. Tingnan nyo yung mental conditioning ni David. Bring mo yung mental conditioning ni David bago siya maging hari. Imagine niyo to. Walang nag encourage kay David. But David developed his own mental conditioning. A mental conditioning ni David every morning when he, he wakes up. Sabi niya, aamuyin niya yung hamog ng mga damo. Aamuyin niya yung lugar na yon in Israel. Tapos sasabihin niya every morning, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want anything, nothing in this world but my shepherd. That's enough. Burin mo yun? Burin mo yung mental conditioning ni David? That's why David is a man after God's own heart. Look at his mental conditioning. This man declares every morning... When he wakes up, ikaw, ano yung mental conditioning mo pag gising mo? Whatever your mental conditioning in that day, that is also your performance and function in that day. Tignan niyo yung mental conditioning niyo. Unang-una sa pag gising niya. Daming problema. Uy, may layo na parating. Parang kakatay na naman ng ako. Pero mamaya ka na mula layo. And the Lord is my shepherd. Hallelujah. I shall not be or ever be in want. Hallelujah. Grabe yun, no? He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restores my soul. Grabe mental conditioning na to. Brain mo, ilan sa inyo, pagod na pagod na kayo na hinahanap ang green pasture. Bakit? Ikaw kasi naghahanap eh. Ba't di mo pasubukan na si Lord na mag-lead sa iyo sa mga green pasture na yan, ne? Eh? Diba? Kaya wala kang kapayapaan kasi kinukuha mo sa iPhone yung kapayapaan mo eh. Bilhin ko nga to, baka maging masaya ako. Mag-shopping nga ako para maging masaya ako. Tol, ang, kap- ang kapayapaan hindi nanggagaling sa bagay, nanggagaling sa Diyos. Amen? Ang tagal-tagal mo ng Kristiyano, hindi ka pa nagpapalid kay Lord. Amen? Why don't you try that the Lord be your shepherd from this day forth? So that you will experience a high-level life. Biri mo high-level life yan. Biri mo dadaan ka sa mga problema mo. Ang yabang-yabang mong dadaan sa mga problema mo. <laughs> Hi, problem. Bakit supakin kita dyan, sasabihin ng problema. Whoop! The Lord is my shepherd. Hindi mo, you cannot touch me. I'm untouchable. Diba? High financial problem. I want to introduce to you to my shepherd. <laughs> Gaganon ka lang. Bakit? You have full confidence in this life because you know who leads your life. Amen? And that, pinukot ko to sa buhay ko, mga kapatid, because I found out, ang uh, question ko sa buhay nito, Lord, why do we have a lot of Christians, they serve a high-level God, but they live a low-level life? Why, Lord? Why? If you are such a great God, why do people underperform according to your expectation? It doesn't make sense. If you are a high-level God, then that means if I surrender my life to you, I will be a high-level person. And I, if I become a high-level person, I will experience a high-level life. Amen? Because you are not an ordinary God, Lord. If you are an ordinary God, then I can be an ordinary person. But no, you are a high-level God. It means if you are high-level, then I am high-level. Amen? Amen? 
Amen? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, high level ako. Huwag mo yung suggest, i-declare mo. High level ako. Ganun. Magalit ka. Amen? Pabira. Tagal-tagal ko na nabubuhay bilang krasyano. Napaka-low level. Pagmula ngayon, high level ako, Chong. Amen? Sabi mo yun, high level ako. Sabi nga nila, hanggat hindi ka nagigigil, hindi ka magbabago. Amen? Hindi ka galit sa sitwasyon mo, hindi ka magbabago. Amen? Galit ako sa'yo. Sabi mo sa, galit na galit ako sa'yo, Joshua Paul. Di ba? Kausapin mo sa sarili. Oh, galit ako sa sarili ko. Kaya ka palag di gym ako, galit ako sa sarili ko. Oh, kaya mo pa yan. Oh, ganun, di ba? Bakit? Sometimes, myself, it says I cannot. But I know I can. Amen? Kaya nga sabi dito ni Steph Curry, I love this. Pero yung masabi ni Steph Curry, train the mind and the body will follow. Sometimes the body doesn't follow. Why? Because the mind lacks training. Amen? Ano ba? Sabi mo sa utak mo, magalit ka. Kung ako sa inyo, umuwi kayo, ilak nyo yung sarili sa kwarto at kausapin mo maigi yung sarili mo. Amen? Amen? Yung mga nasa likod, narinig nyo ba ako? Amen? Di ba? Punta ka sa likod. Sabi mo, alika nga dito, Joshua Paul, mag-usap nga tayo. Ikaw, 33 years old ka na, may problema ka tol. Amen? Kausapin mo yung sarili mo. Dear self, sabi ko. Dear self, bakit kang hinahina mo? Ne? Hindi ka naman dinisign ni Lord na ganyan. Amen? Dear self, 33 years ka ng kristyano, ganyan ka pa rin? May nanu ka tol. Amo. Di ba? Why don't we have a serious talk with ourselves? Amen? We deserve it. Total, kinakausap ka ng sarili mo kapag nag-iisa ka, di ba? Di ba? Anong sinasabi ng sarili mo sa'yo? Eh, may agyo yan. Di ba? Kalulo ka mo at gagawa mo yan. At muta ka kayong church. Makipag-ibi na ka mo. Di ba? Palagi kang kinakausap ng sarili mo. Ba't di mo rin kausapin yung sarili mo? Total, kinakausap ka niya. Alika nga dito, Vanessa Dakpano, mag-usap tayo. Di ba? Ganun mo sarili mo, magmula ngayon. Ikaw, di ba ang tamad-tamad mo? Pero magbula ngayon, mag-aaral ka magbabuti, kakalabanin natin, katamaran natin, ne? Di ba? Di ba? High level ka, baby. Why? Because every everybody is precious to God. Amen? Sabi ni Lord, nasa watsyang ka pa lang, before I knew you, we, before you were in the womb, I knew you. May plano na sa para sa'yo. High level na plano. Tapos haya mo lang na maging ordinaryo ka. Amen? Lahat ng mga parent na may baby, all of our sons and daughters are special to us. Amen? Do you want an ordinary life for this person? No. You want the best for them. Amen, baby? Kaya nga kung ikaw bilang magulang, gusto mo lang the best para sa anak mo, sa tingin mo ang Diyos, ayaw niya yung the best para sa'yo? Amen? I was not born to be ordinary. Declare it. Amen? I have a purpose. I have a reason for existence. Amen? Amen? High level ako. The enemy will remind you that you are nothing. But be reminded that you are something. Amen? We must live according to the title that God has given us. High level ako. That is what my God is. That is what my God says. And that is how I will live my life. Amen? Magalit kayo. Amen? Aro, saan ko nalagay yung ano? Saan ko nalapag? Ayan. Amen? Tignan na dito, sabi sa 1 Corinthians 9, everyone who competes in the game goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Amen? We must train ourselves. Meron tayong spiritual, kung meron tayong mental training sa school, kung meron tayong physical training sa gym, meron tayong spiritual training dito. Amen? The problem is, we must not be selective in what we want, want to follow to God. 
This is so important, mga kapatid. Kung bibili ka ng bagong gamit, palagi may manual. If you want to function properly, read your manual. God is telling you who you are. Amen? Tignan nyo. Tignan nyo na lang, kapatid. Anong problema sa utak natin? Okay lang, mamatay ako mahirap, basta pupunta ako sa langit. Eh, nakita mo ba si Jesus? Pag meron ba siyang dadaanan dyan sa, makita mo nung nabubuhay siya, sasabihin niya ba sa sarili mo, alam mo, okay lang na bulag ka, importante, mahal mo ang Diyos, pupunta ka sa langit. Amen? Ganun ba yun? Di ba? Sasabihin ba niya, Lord, may ketong po ako, okay lang na may ketong kang, importante, mahal mo ako, pupunta ka sa langit. No! When God sees a, a situation that offers your disability, He addresses that situation so that he, you can unleash your ability to this world. Amen? Lord, bulag ako. Naniniwala ka ba sa akin? Yes, Lord. O sige, makakakita ka na. Amen? Use that life now. God changes our life for His purpose to perform according to what He created us to be. Amen? Sinasabi ba ni Lord, okay lang na mahirap ka. Saan mo makita sa Bible yan? Bigyan niyo ako ng biblical basis. Okay lang na bulag ka. Ay, ay pilay ka. Huwag ka mag I love you. Sasabihin niya. Okay lang na hindi ka nakakalakad. Ang importante, mahal mo ko. Pupunta ka sa langit. Ano ba yun? Ang labo, no? Yun ang tinanggap natin. Okay lang na ganito yung sitwasyon. Basta yung importante, mahal ko ang Diyos. Hindi okay yan. Ang gusto ni Lord, makorek yan. Ang gusto ni Lord, ayusin yan. Di ba? The good thing about God is no matter how damaged you are, He can repair you. Amen? Luluod ka sa harap mo, sasabihin niya, Lord, paano mo ko gagamitin? Isira-sira na ako. It doesn't matter. I am a creator. I can create things. Amen? Whatever the destroyer destroyed in your life, I can create that. Because that is my power. That's why I'm called the creator. Because out of nothing, I can make something. You know, if I can do that to the universe, I can do that to you. Walang excuse. Bigay mo sa akin yung imposible situation mo. Eh kung itong mundo ko, ginawa ko galing sa kawalan yung pabuhay mo. Wala tayong pwede ipalusot. You forget who I am, sasabi ni Lord. I am a creator. Amen? Kaya yung ee mo, sa iyo na lang yan. Kaya maraming engot sa mundo kasi pulong sila na eh, eh, eh. Huwag ka na mag eh, kapatid. Mag-declare ka na lang. High level ako tol. Amen? Amen? Sabihin nyo naman yun. Grabe. Di para sa akin to. Para sa inyo to. Amen? The question is, who or what is influencing our mind? Amen? Sino ba talaga lagi influence sa akin? Tinatawag ko yung, yung sarili kong kristyano, pero sino talaga may influence sa utak ko? Ang tanong. Amen? Tignan mo, kung nood ka na nood ng K-pop, mamaya-maya, kahit na morena ka na, maputi ka na. Di ba? Pati nga, pansit ng Koreano, kinakain mo na eh. Kaya ang dami mga yut, hindi na kumakain ng kanin, samjitsal ng samjitsal. Bakit? Kung ano kasi yung pinapanood nila, kung ano yung may influence sa buhay nila, ganyan eh. Di ba? Kaya ang daming bakla eh. Bakit? Hindi naman kasalanan maging bakla. Ano bang pinapanood po tol? Kasi tawa ka lang tawa kay Vice Ganda, kasi nakaaliw ka mamaya-maya. Ah, okay lang siguro maging ganun. <laughs> Amen? Totoo yun. Di ba? You are, be, you are being sidelined from your original purpose. Why? Tandaan nyo, not every opportunity comes from God. The devil also gives you opportunities so that you can be distracted from the opportunities that God gives. Amen? Ang dami ko nang best narinig to, pasensya ka na, cell leader, hindi ako nakapag-church. Bakit? May blessing kasi si Lord. Tingnan mo, magbibigay ba ng blessing si Lord na mawawala yung attention mo sa Kanya? Di ba? 
Pasensya na, hindi na ako nakakapag-sell group kasi may blessing si Lord, binigyan niya ako ng trabaho. Say what? Ibi-bless ka ni Lord na mawawala yung attention mo sa kanya? Di ba? Binigyan ka ng bagong kotse, tapos sasabihin mo galing kay Lord, kaya hindi ka na nakakapagsimba? Mga kapatid, kung kaya nga i-bless si Lord, kaya ka rin bless ang kalaban para masidetrack ka niya. Tandaan mo nung tinem si Jesus, sabi niya, di ba, I can offer you all the kingdoms of the world. Kaya nga i-offer ni Satanas yan. Pero tandaan mo, the world can bless you, yes, but it is a temporary blessing. But when God blesses you, it is from this life to beyond this life. Papalusot mo. Di ba? Hindi naman, kahit hindi ako nakapag-church, nakakapag-live stream ako. Kasi, importante, kahit na nasa bahay ako, basta importante, mahal ko sila. Ano ko, home-based Christian? Saan na punta yun? Ano ba yan? Di ba? Ano ba? Mga kapatid, saan, ma- saan pwede yun? Kunyari, ah, pwede po kayong gamitin mag-asawa? Tayo po kayo. Di ba? Pwede ba? Ilang taon na po kayong mag-asawa? 45 years. Pwede ba na magtatagal ang relationship nila for 45 years na si tatay lang yung nag-e-effort? Di ba? Pwede ba yun? Importante, mahal naman ako ni Lord kahit ang bakla ako. Ano yun? Saan mo nagaling yun? Di ba love, it changes? Because that person loves you so much, you change towards the direction of that love. Amen? Amen? Di ba? You grow together. Do you start, tumigil na ba kayo mag-grow together? Hindi, di ba? Every day you learn something new. For 45 years, they have been learning together. That's why they have been growing together. That's why they are together. Amen? That is, that is love. Kung mahal mo talaga si Lord, and then you grow together with God. Amen? You are walking hand in hand with God. Bring mo yun. Grabe. Hallelujah. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, hallelujah. Sabi ka dito, because whoever or whatever has an influence over our mind is the one that influences our life. Do you agree with me with this? Who influences you? Kaya nga sabi dito sa Romans 8 verse 6, The mind governed by the flesh is death. But the mind governed by the spirit of life and peace. What governs your mind? Who governs your mind? Amen? Amen? Sana maisip natin to. Mayroong personal thing. Sino talaga may influence sa buhay ko? Real talk lang. Makipag-usap ka sa sarili mo. Di ba? Mind setting is the key to a set life. Tandaan nyo, palagi kong sinasabi sa mga youth, parang cellphone ang buhay mo. Di ba? Kapag hawak ko itong cellphone na to, ibig sabihin ng cellphone yung umahawak sa buhay ko. Amen? Who is in control of this cellphone? The cellphone or me? I am in control with of, over this cellphone. Amen? It, it, it means, if I am in control of this cellphone, I have the power to set things in this cellphone. Yung settings ko, yun ang gusto ko. Hindi yung cellphone yung nagsiset sa buhay ko. Amen? Ikaw ang mayari ng buhay mo. Sa tingin mo, wala kang option na iset yung mga bagay sa buhay mo. Amen? Na gets nyo? Amen? Kaya nga, you have the power of choice. That's why you have the power to decide. You made a decision to go here. That is the power of your choice. It means you are tweaking a setting in your life so that whatever the setting is in your life, ganun magpapunction ang buhay mo. Tama? Tama ba? Lahat tayo may cellphone. Alam nyo yung mga setting ng cellphone nyo. Kung gusto nyo i-volume down yan, magbo-volume down yan. Kung gusto nyo patayin yung cellphone, mapapatayin nyo yan. Diba? Ang buhay mo, ganun din. You have the option to set things in your life. The question is, 
What is the setting of your life right now? Kaya siguro hindi nagpe-perform fa- properly yung cellphone, yung buhay mo because of the wrong settings that you have placed in your life. Amen? Amen? Tanoy mo nga sarili mo, ano kaya nakaset sa buhay ko? Kasi kung ano man nakaset sa buhay mo, yun, yun nakaset sa, yun ang nangyayari sa iyo. Yun ang na-experience mo. Amen? Kaya nga, sabi ko, who is setting our mind? Is it God or, alam niyo na yun. <laughs> Dalawa lang naman eh. Palagi ko sinasabi, if you don't, if you're not included in the kingdom of God, for sure you belong to the kingdom of the other. Diba? If you're not in a relationship with God, for sure you have a relationship with the other. If God is not leading your life, for sure there is somebody else who is leading your life. Like it or not, somebody will have an influence in your life. Ang maganda dyan kapatid, ikaw yung may option para piliin sino ang nasa buhay mo. Amen? Ang palagi kong sinasabi sa mga tao, ang, ang, ang buhay, steady lang yan. Ang problema, lagi nandyan. Amen? Tignan nyo to, yung mga sa nag-lecture, isulat nyo to. Problems are a permanent thing in this temporary life. Sulat nyo yan. Problems are a permanent thing in this temporary life. So, if problems are a permanent thing in this temporary life, it means, ang tanong, sino bang kasama mo sa problema? Amen? Wala naman problema yung problema eh. Ang tanong, sino ang kasama mo pag may problema ka? Kasi kapag kasama mo si Lord, kahit na malaki pa problema mo, no problem. Pero bakit may mga problema na binubugbog ka? Ibig sabihin, iba yung kasama mo, kaya nabubugbog ka. Kasi kapag kasama ka, ka kapag kasama mo sa problema si Lord hindi ka pa mabubugbog ni Lord. Sasabi ni Lord sa iyo kapag kasama ka sa problema, I will not leave you nor forsake you. Go behind my back. Walang bubugbog sa iyo. Oo, oh, upak diyan. Amen. Pero kapag nabubugbog ka sa problema mo, tanungin mo maigi sino ang kasama mo. Because it's not about the problems, the question is who is with you during the storm? Amen? Ay, gets nyo? Naalala nyo nung ginising si Lord, natutulog siya sa may bangga, tapos may bagyo daw? Eh, para nga kay Lord, dinihele lang siya ng bagyo eh. Biro mo, ginising siya sa Peter, Lord, Lord, Lord! <laughs> Ang problema mo. Sabi mo ni Jesus, ano, uh, ano, uh, ano, ano, anong problema, Peter? Lord, may bagyo! <laughs> Wala naman bagyo, sabi niya ngayon. Balik na ako matulog. Pero yun mo yun. Wala naman sa kanya yung bagyo eh. Ibig sabihin, wala naman, hindi naman porket may bagyo, walang bagyo. Basta kasama mo si Kristo sa bangka mo, walang bagyo. Eh, ba't punong-puno yan, man? Kapatid, bakit? Ibig sabihin, sinong kasama mo sa bangka? <laughs> Di ba? Wala na mo bagyo eh. Biruin mo, ginawang luneta lang ni Lord yung bagyo. Tama. Namumoblema yung mga fisherman. Tapos yan, nilalakaran lang niya. Sabi lang niya. Biruin mo yun, at sarap kasama ni Lord sa bagyo, no? Di ba yung mga tao natatakot sa bagyo? Ako gusto ko mamasyal sa bagyo. Biruin mo, sarap. Kumikid lahat. Umaalon na ganun, tapos namamasyal lang kayo ni Lord. Hoy, nakita mo yung thunder na yan? Ginawa ko yan. Wala nga yan. Ano? Ah, lakas ang hangin, no? Pero mas malakas ako. Di ba? Lalaki na mga alon, no? Pero mas malaki ako. Oh, ganda na ito, no? Pero yun, yun, wala. Walang kweta sa kanya yan, eh. Di ba? Tama? Kaya ka lang nalulunod ng mga alon kasi mas malaki yung mga alon sa buhay mo kaysa kay Lord. Oh, <laughs> real talk. Amen? Kaya nga, who is our God? Ang, ta- ang problema sa mga Kristiyano, they know God, 
but they don't know who he is really. Kilala mo ba si Jesus? Oo. Sino siya? Eh, niligtas sa tayo. Hanggang doon lang ang kaalaman mo. Tama? Dapat, tingnan nyo, mga kapatid, ganito lang kasimple. Papakasala mo ba yung tao na hindi mo kakilala? Tama? Kaya nga may date eh, di ba? Si Tito Jojo, tsaka si Tita, ilang years kayo nag-date bago kayo kinasal? Five years! Bro, mo yun? Five years to get to know each other, di ba? Kasi kapag sigurado, sigurado ka na. Diyan sa kasama mo, finally, di ba? Psst, pakasalam mo nga ako. Bakit? Just a minute, Tita, no? Kasi I love you eh. I'm sure you're the one that I want to be till death do us part. Amen? Bakit? Surbol na eh. Tignan mo, ba't ang dami mga single parent? Bakit? Hindi kasi nakura yung surbol bago yung ano eh. Hindi mo pa kilala yung sarili mo. Akala ko, mahal mo ako, kaya ka pala. Bakit? Kasi nauna yung abs, nauna yung pogi, bago mo nakilala talaga kung sino siya. Amen? Tama? Aray ko, ang dami yata mga... <laughs> May hugot dito. Tama ba? Ganun yun eh. Ako nga, nung nakilala ko si Det, pinipwersa na kami ni Herpat ko na ikasal. Kaka, kaka, kakasagot lang sa akin eh. eh. But it took us three years. Why? It is not about being forced to get married. I want to get to know the person that I'm marrying. Right? I want to enjoy. I want to learn who is Det. Who is Badet. Who is this person that I could possibly spend the rest of my life with? That's the problem with a lot of Christians. They want to spend eternity with God, but they don't know who, they, who God is. Ang labo. Kaya nga kahit na, mag, na tinatawag mo sarili mong kristyano, hindi mo na magkilala ang Diyos mo, kaya wala ka buhay. Nakatulad saan ng Diyos mo. Excuse my voice. <laughs> Amen? And it gets you, we must know who God is first. Because if we want a relationship with the creator of heaven and earth, we must know who he is. Amen? Sabi, sabi nga dito sa Revelation 21, 6 to 7. Diba? I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty, I will give water without cost. From the spring, water of life, those who are victorious will inherit this. Tapos biruin mo, sasabihin niya sa'yo, I will be their God and they will be my children. Tignan mo, does God want you to have an ordinary life? The intention of God is for you to have a victorious life. Why? Because God is a God of victory. Amen. Ang palagi kong tinatanong sa tao, meron bang mas iibabaw sa Espiritu ng Diyos? Eh bakit ka may sakit? Eh bakit ka malungkot? Eh bakit ka may utang? Eh bakit ka may problema? Kung ang tinanggap mo, sinuko mo ang buhay mo at tinanggap mo ang Diyos sa buhay mo. Bakit may nakaibabaw na ibang spirito sa buhay mo? Amen? Because nothing dominates God. God dominates everything. He's a high-level God. Amen? Death and life has, a, has nothing to do with Him. Amen? I always ask people, I ask people, sabi ko, sa tingin nyo, where is the victory? Is it is it when God said it is finished on the cross? O, nung pinanganak siya sa mundong ito? Amen? <laughs> yung unang iyak ni Jesus, nung sanggol pa lang siya, nanginig na yung impyerno. Bakit? Alam na nila, the boss is here. Amen? You can read it over and over in the Bible. Satan did not even attempt to fight God. Bakit? Alam niya talo siya. Walang laban. 
Kaya ka lumulod yung mga demonyo sa kanya eh. Mas taulo ang pangang nakikilala ng mga demonyo si Jesus kaysa sa mga Kristiyano eh. We know who you are, sasabihin nila. Kilala ka namin. Ikaw yung ah, dati namin hari eh. Pero yun mo yun? <laughs> High level si Lord. Naglalakad pa lang siya, makikilala siya ng demonyo. Ano gusto mo sa amin? Tapon mo na lang kami sa baboy. Ayaw nilang lumaban. Bakit? Wala sila laban eh. Ganon ka high level ang Diyos mo. Buruhin mo yun. Amen. Kaya nga, buruhin mo nung pinanganak siya, nag-open, open heaven. And then, heaven is roaring in excelsis Deo. Because the last time that the king of creation walked on earth was in the Garden of Eden. Then finally, the king is born again here on earth. Buri mo nagsa-celebrate ang langit in excelsis Deo. Gloria, Gloria. Talo ka na, sabi niya ano. We won the victory. Grabe. High level ang Diyos natin, mga kapatid. Reality check tayo. Ang Diyos na namatay sa atin ay Diyos na buhay mong umuli. Amen? Amen? Kaya ang sabi dito, ay, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Amen? Tignan nyo mga kapatid, I, I, am, I am baffled. Namamangha ako. Bakit ang mga tao, pag binabasa nila yung Bible, hinahanap nilang katapusan ng mundo? Lilindol lang. Ayan na si Lord, parating na. Ano ganyan? Tama? Ba't hinihintay nilang matapos sa mundo? Di ba pag binuksan mo yung, bu- yung Bible, there are three beautiful first words in the Bible. When I was lost, when I read that first words, it means hope. Sabi niya, in the beginning. Amen? Genesis 1.1. Bakit? Kasi akala mo tapos na yung buhay mo. Pero sabi ni Lord, nag-uumpisa pa lang ako. Amen? Because I am not the God of the end. I am the God of beautiful beginnings. Amen? High level ako. Lord, wala nang pag-asa yung buhay ko. <laughs> I am just beginning. Sasabihin ni Lord. Amen? Lord, eh. <laughs> Anong eh? I am just beginning. I am just beginning. Amen? Sabihin mo, sarili mo, Lord, nag-uumpisa ka pa lang sa buhay ko. Amen? Kung patapos na, magsabi, magsalita ang mga tao sa akin, Lord, ikaw, nag-uumpisa ka pa lang. Amen? Because you are a God of beautiful beginnings. Amen? Kaya nga tayo, kaya nga mga cell leader, that's why you're leading. Because we are people who deem ourselves, our lives hopeless, but we found hope in Him. In the beginning, Lord, grabe. I thought it's the end, but you're just beginning. Amen? God is a God of beautiful beginnings. Kaya nga sabi niya dito, mga kapatid, di ba? That's why God, that's why Jesus must influence our life. Why? Peace. Because He is the way. The only way. Sabi mo, sa sarili mo, Jesus. Jesus is the only way. The problem with us is we try to find the truths in this life. Kaya tayo naluloko eh. Kaya tayo ang daming sira-sira na tao eh. Amen? Ang problema sa mundo, mga kapatid, ito pala yung sinasabi sa tao, listen to me. There are a lot of fake things in this world that pretend to be true. Amen? Kaya maraming tao nasasaktan kasi akala nila totoo, yun pala hindi. Amen? If you don't if you want to save yourself from hurts and pains there's only one way there is only one source of the truth and that is Jesus Christ 
Kasi hindi, hindi ka lolokohin ng Diyos, kapatid. Pwede kang lokohin ng tao. Pwede kang lolokohin. Kahit ang sinong tao, lolokohin ka ng mundo. Pero ang Diyos, ni minsan, hindi ka niya gagamitin at lolokohin, kapatid. Amen? Sasabihin niya sa iyo, I am the way. Why? Because I am the author of life. I am the source of the original way of life. Di ba? Kaya nga sa amin, I am the way, the truth. Ako lang katotohanan sa mundong ito. At ako lang ang source ng buhay sa mundong ito. Bakit? Kasi akong gumawa ng buhay eh. What better source of life but the creator of life itself, mga kapatid. Di ba? Huwag na tayong maggaling-galingan na magplano sa buhay natin. Huwag na tayong maghanap pa kung saan ang buhay talaga sa buhay, sa buhay na to. Go back to original source. Amen? Source determines resource, mga kapatid. Tandaan nyo yan. Amen? Kaya nga, kaya nga, what is God's intention for us? What is His goal and purpose for us? Amen? Sabi ya dito sa Genesis, sabi ya, let us make man in our own image. Tignan nyo. Amen? Tignan nyo mga kapatid. God's purpose, so that they may rule. Di ba? God does not want life ruling over you. He wants you to rule over life. God did not design you to rule over man. Hindi niya kanya dinisayin, ako dapat mag-rule sa iyo. Hindi. What God designed you to be is, to your, is for you to dominate this life. For you to dominate your studies. So that you can dominate your finances. So that you can dominate your success. So that you can dominate your health. Amen? God designed you. Bring mo yun. He designed you. He engineered you for to function as a high-level being in this life. Amen? Amen? Sana maintindihan niyo yun. Nung gustong gawin ni Lord yung tilapia, ginawa niya muna yung tubig. Bakit? Kasi gagawin niya yung tilapia galing sa tubig. Amen? Nag-gets nyo? Nung gustong gawin ng Diyos yung baboy, ginawa niya muna yung lupa. Bakit? Kasi galing sa lupa, magagaling yung materyales ang panggawa niya ng baboy. Amen? Source determines resource. But when it, it was about, when God came to the point of creating you, it became personal. It became personal, mga kapatid. Ang galing ng Diyos. It took God five days to prepare to prepare the environment before He made you. Step one, step two, step three, step four. On day, day five, sabi niya, it is very good. Day six, everything is good. Now, I will now make man. Burihin mo yun? Nung ginawa ng Diyos, yung akasya, He has the intention for you. Kasi kapag ginawa ka ni Lord noon day one, patay ka. Wala kang oxygen. Amen? Everything that God did from step one to step five was in preparation of making you. Nung ginagawa ng Diyos ang tilapia, iniisip ka niya. May enjoy ni Tito Jojo to, habi niya, pag prinito to. Amen? Nung ginawa ng Diyos yung manok, iniisip ka niya. Sabi niya, balang araw may enjoy ni Charles to sa mga inasal. Amen? Bili mo yun, yung sobrang advance mag ni Lord na prepare niya lahat para sa'yo. Tapos ikaw, magiging suicidal ka lang. Tapos magiging malungkot ka lang. Hanggang ngayon, ngayon, NASA, hindi nila ma-explain kung paano na-form yung universe. They spend billions studying the complexity of the universe. But God just painted the stars at night So that when you are tired, you will look up and you will say, Kay buti-buti ng Diyos. Buri mo? Inisip niyo yun? Someday, 
Diba, Tita Melanie will look up in the stars and she will be reminded of how I love her. Buruhin mo yun. Tapos papadaanin ko pa yung isang shooting star para maging masaya naman siya. Buruhin mo yun. Everything lives for you. Buruhin mo yun. And it, when, it, when, it come, when it came to the time to make you, sabi niya, what better materials to make man but to make man from myself. Sabi niyo, let us make man from my own image in our own likeness. Buruhin mo yun? High level ka? Nakakalungkot. Kaya ako naging life message to eh. Buruhin mo nung gagawin ka na ng Diyos, hindi ka niya kinuha sa tubig. Ang ginamit niyang materyales para gawin ka ay ang sarili niya. Di ba? Imagine nyo to. Go back to the verse. Sabi niya oh, Look at this. When I made the fish, I made them out of water. But if I will make God, man, if I will make Eliza, man, Montero, I must find the perfect, di ba? The perfect ingredients of victory, which is me. The perfect ingredient of strength, which is me. The perfect ingredient of truth, that is me. The perfect source of love is only me. The perfect source of success and favor, and that is me. Amen? Kaya nga, that is you. God made you from His own image and His own likeness. Is God the God of sickness? No. What is He? The God of healing, then that is you. Is God the God of losers? No. He is a God of victory, then that is you. Why? You were made from His own image and likeness. High level ang Diyos mo. Ibig sabihin, high level ka rin. <laughs> Dahil ang gusto niyang function para sa'yo ang maging high level kang tao. Diba? I never wanted you to be dominated by life. I want you to dominate this life. This world is designed for you to dominate and subdue. Amen? Kaya hindi ka dapat nanggagaya ng pangako. Hindi ka dapat nanggagaya ng strategy ng success mo. All you need to do, my friend, is to find, is to develop a relationship with your Creator then you will discover your, yourself. Amen? So simple. Amen? Sabi niya dito, di ba? Tignan niyo to. Ganito na kasimple. Life verse ang TFBC to. But I want to show you. TFBC, look at me. Kung sino nagpa-plano, ganun ang plano. Amen? Gets nyo? Pag bomba nagpa-plano, bomba din ang plano. Amen? Okay, gets nyo? Kung sino ang nagplano, sigurado ganun yung plano. Di ba? Kung corrupt ang nagplano, sigurado may corruption mangyayari sa plano. Nag-guess nyo? Kaya kung sino ang plano, ganun ang plano. Naintindihan nyo? Ang tanong ko, sino nagplano sa atin? Is a God a, an ordinary God? Because if an ordinary God planned our life, it means there are ordinary plans for us. Ay, gets nyo? Ngayon, kung, kung ang Diyos hindi siya ordinary yung Diyos, ibig sabihin, yung mga plano na pinag-uusapan dito sa Jeremiah, Jeremiah 29.11, hindi ordinaryo. Kung hindi ordinary yung mga plano ng Diyos sa atin, ibig sabihin, this is biblical evidence, kung hindi ordinary yung Diyos, Ibig sabihin, hindi ordinary yung mga plano. Amen? Ibig sabihin, hindi ka rin ordinaryo. Ganun lang kasimple yun. Sana mag-gets nyo. God does not have ordinary plans for you. Why? Because He is not an ordinary God. Amen? Amen? Gets nyo? Sabihin mo sarili mo, hindi ordinaryo ang Diyos ko. 
Kaya walang ordinaryong plano sa buhay ko. Kaya hindi rin ako ordinaryong tao. Amen? Grabe, no? High level ako, tol. Sabi mo. Sabi mo sa atin mo, high level ka, tol. High level ka, chong. I-declare nyo para mangyari. Amen? Kaya nga, discovering Him is discovering me. Amen? If you don't discover God, how can you discover yourself? Because if you have a relationship with God, mga kapatid, congratulations, God will tell you who you are. Di ba? Sasabihin mo sa sarili mo, Hi Lord, I'm a, I want to be a pharmacist. Tapos sasabihin ni Lord, Isa, you're not just a pharmacist. You're a billionaire. You are designed and you were engineered to be one. Nakita mo? Your plans versus God's plans. Di ba? Lord, contento na ako maging ganito. You know, Mel, I love you. And I did not design simple contentments for you. This is what you see in yourself. But allow me to show who you really are. Amen? Grabe, no? Bri mo yun. Bri mo. Ah, oh, man, nangingilabot ako ngayon. Look at Moses. Moses was destined to die. Namamatay lahat ng mga baby nun. Kaya sumugal ang nanay niya sa ilog. Baka sakaling mabuhay siya. Baka sakali. Baka sakaling hindi kainin siya ng mga buhaya. Baka sakaling malunod, hindi siya malunod. Baka sakaling mabuhay siya. And then, dahil sa kapalaran, sasabihin ni, napulot si Moses ng isang prinsesa. Amen? Tapos biruin mo, uy, kaswerte ko naman. Prinsipe pala ako. Pero sabi ng Diyos, no, you're not a prince. Kasaway ang palad, hindi naging prinsipe si Moises. Di ba? Naitakwil siya. He became an outcast. Di ba? He wandered the desert and then he discovered, siguro hindi nga ako prinsipe. Isa lang ako pastol ng mga kambing. But you know, unless you discover God, you will never discover yourself. But when Moses encountered God, sabi niya, Lord, I'm not worthy. Tinapol lang ako ng nanay ko sa ilog. Naging prinsipe ako at uh, ay, napayang prinsipe lang ako. Ngayon, pasto lang ako ng mga kambing. Well, Moses, that is what you say you are. Allow me now to mention who you really are. Diba? You will be the leader of a free nation. Diba? You will be the author of the first five important historical books in the Bible. That is who you are. Marim mo yun? Ganon din kay Peter. Lord, I'm just a fisherman. No, you are. No, you're not. You are a fisher of men. When God speaks to your life, your title changes. Your role changes. Amen? From being ordinary, you are elevated to the extraordinary. Biruin mo si Jacob nung nakikipag-battle siya kay Lord sa Peniel. Sabi niya, Lord, I will not let you go until you bless me. Sabi niya, what is your name? I am Jacob. Jacob means manloloko. Pero sabi ni Lord, no, you're not. You are Israel. Sabi niya. Lord, what is your name? My name is Abram. No, you're not. You are Abraham. The father of a nation. When God encounters your life, God changes your life. When God encounters your life, your title changes. When God encounters you, even a blind Bartimaeus, Lord! Sabi niya ngayon, I'm blind! No, you're not. He changes you. He changes your title. He removes the title of the world And He entitles you according to what you are designed and engineered to be. Amen? 
You're not just a simple person. You are an exquisite, important person. You are wonderfully and fearfully made. Amen? Grabe. Sabi ko nga dito, God is a high-level God. We are created to live, perform, and function as a high-level person so that we could experience a high-level life. Amen? High-level tayo, Chong. Amen? High-level ka. Amen? That's why I want you, beginning today, you must function properly. Amen? Declare to yourself. Amen? As women, di ba? Clothe yourself with God's majesty. Amen? Hindi ko, di ako papayag na ibibigay ko yung buhay ko sa basa-basa lamang kahit sinong tao lamang. I am a high-level woman of God. My life deserves a high-level man of God. Amen? Kapag yung mga, mga estudyante sasabihin sa inyo, oh, bakit ka lang sa cell group? Di ba? Tol, sabi niya, kung gusto niyo maging walang kwenta, maging mag- malang kwenta kayo mag Pero ako, may bala ko sa buhay ko. Bakit? I was born for a reason. I was born for a purpose. High level ako tol. Amen? I, I don't want the world to corrupt what God intended me to be. I was born to be a high level person. Di ba? And I, because I belong to a high level God. Amen? Amen? No excuses. Amen? I'm going to church. But di tayo mag-church, tara. Swimming tayo. Yun ang gusto mo sa sarili mo. But me, I have an intention for my life. I want success. I want favor. I want victory. I'm going to church. Bakit? I level ako tol. Amen? Amen? Hindi na ako magiging closet Christian. Bakit? I don't have a closet God. Amen? My God died. On the cross, without shame, with all bravery, for me. That's, from, that's why from now on, I will live as a brave Christian, full of confidence, full of value, because I have a high-level God. High-level ako tol. Amen? Amen? Don't waste your life becoming ordinary when you were born to be extraordinary. Amen? Go with a new resolve. Amen? I will be a high-level businessman. I am a high-level mother. I am a high-level father. I am a high-level grandfather. Amen? Kung hawak-hawak yung mga anak nyo, di ba? Di ba? Hawakan nyo yung mga anak nyo. Sabihin mo, anak, high-level ka. Amen? You, you will not just grow as an ordinary person. My son, my daughter, you will grow into an extraordinary man or woman of God. Amen? You will showcase this. Amen? That is my dream. That is my dream. That barang araw, dito sa Tarlac City, kahit na maliit lang ang syudad natin, kahit maliit lang ang probinsya natin, makikilala ang probinsya natin sa mundong ito. Why? Tarlac City, Tarlac Province will be the source of high-level people. Amen? God will show the world His glory. Amen? God will show the world that it doesn't matter if you are in a simple family. It doesn't matter if you are in a simple place. Because as long as that simple person in that simple place is found by an extraordinary God, things will change. Amen? My life will change. My situation will change. Why? Because God, I'm about to experience heaven on earth. Amen? 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 Woo! Sabi mo sa katabi mo. High level ka tol! Sabi mo sa katabi mo. Amen? Amen? Tayo tayo lahat. Amen? Kung magkasama kayong mag- 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 magkakapamilya, magdikit-dikit kayo. Why? Because we are ten times better together. Amen? Amen? Ten times better together. Sabi mo. Amen? Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, I love you. High level ka tol. Amen? Amen? Grabe. Amen? Let's all close our eyes and let's raise our hands. Amen? 
Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for being our God. Thank you, Lord, that you show us in the Bible how great you are, how awesome you are, how majestic you are in our lives, oh God. Thank you, Lord, that as we continue in our journey in life, we will discover more. As we continue our relationship with you, we will learn how great, how majestic, how wonderful, how amazing you are, oh God. And as we discover who you are more and more in this lifetime, we also discover more of ourselves, oh God. And thank you, Lord, that this church, that our, this Tia Bisi family, we are, born, we are born with purpose. We are born with intent, oh God. There is a reason why we exist. It's because, Lord, you, oh God, is a high-level God. And we are created to function and perform as a high-level person. Because you love us so much, oh God. Thank you, Lord, that from this day forth, each and every one of us will perform and live a high-level life, oh God. I declare heaven on earth be upon our family, oh God. If there is sickness, there will be healing, oh God. If there is defeat, there will be victory, oh God, in Jesus' name. Lord, the students, their campus will see what God will do to a young student that is loved and found by you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We lift your name on high. All honor and glory be upon your name, my King, my Lord, our Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So guys, don't forget, please, high level kayo. Diba? Amen? God bless us all and enjoy a high level week. Amen? God bless.